Mr. Speaker, if the Liberals have a plan of action and they're going to actually do what it takes to get Trans Mountain built, why did they refuse to tell Canadians exactly what that plan is? The only consistent action by the Liberals has been inaction, and yep. the Prime Minister's failure of leadership has directly led to the escalating interprovincial dispute. Clearly, he's lost control of this national priority. The pipeline opponents say they'll use all tools available to kill it. What tools will the Prime Minister commit to use to get the pipeline built? Prime Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, this is eerily reminiscent of the tone and the approach that for 10 years failed to get pipelines built from the government, uh, the, conservative, the previous Conservative government. Uh, they thought ramming things through was a way to get things done, and they didn't get it done, Mr. Right. Speaker. On this side of the House, we understand what Canadians know, that you protect the environment and grow the economy together. And that's exactly what we're doing. That's why we put forward a national plan on fighting climate change at the same time as we are moving forward on building the key Stone Excel pipeline, the uh, Kinder Morgan pipe. Member for order. Order. The Honourable. Feel the love. Valentine's Day. Order. The Honourable Member for Lakeland. That's confidence building. Wrong one. The minister says he won't accept any unnecessary or undue delays on the Trans Mountain expansion, although he won't define them, even though it's already been held up for 142 days. Construction is stalled, spending is slowed, operations are postponed. The Prime Minister says he won't allow it to be stalled or stopped, and he claims the pipeline will be built. But yesterday, the Liberals defeated a motion just asking them to set out a concrete plan of action. He won't answer today. Is the Prime Minister not willing to announce his plan because he actually doesn't even have one? Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, we understand that protecting the environment and growing the economy go together. And that's exactly what we've done. We have focused on building world-class uh, 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 carbon reduction plan that's actually going to deliver on our par Paris targets. We've invested over a billion and a half dollars in uh, protecting our coasts, and we're moving forward on getting our resources to new markets through the Kinder Morgan pipeline. These are the things that Canadians expect of a government to pull things together and create environment and economy that go together. That's what they failed to do. That's what we're doing.